Spears of Wisdom, The Beauty of Asparagus, February 2nd, 2023. As spring approaches, I look out my window at a specific garden bed, excitedly waiting to see the little green spears of seed started asparagus pop up. Gardening teaches me to have hope for things to come. After my first real garden season in 2020, I began to think about adding edible perennials. They come back year after year. In January 2021, I decided to learn how to grow asparagus. I've been nurturing that asparagus since it was a little black seed. Even before planting, I stratified the seed to simulate a cold season so the seed would remember its purpose and awaken from dormancy. I accomplished this by laying the seeds on a damp paper towel in the refrigerator for a month. Once planted in soil under a grow light, I had to patiently wait for those seedlings to sprout before I could transplant them outside. Year 1 During the first season, 2021, I watched my seedlings grow into 4 foot tall ferns, but I couldn't eat any. If I harvested anything, the plants wouldn't survive the coming cold season. I had to let it go until it looked quite dead before trimming it back. What a waste, right? Here we go again. When spring 2022 arrived, I hoped to see the garden spears pop up, and they did. This year the asparagus ferns grew even taller, but I still had to hold back. I had to let the plant collect as much light energy as possible before it got cold. After an unseasonably warm autumn, I cut the plants back in December. Underground, the roots, or crowns, grew larger and their ability to store energy increased. More waiting. When those spears come up this year, I can finally collect some lunch, but only sparingly. Then the plant must collect energy to produce an even larger harvest in 2024. Girls and boys. I was blessed to have a few female plants among the male plants. Asparagus is a dioecious plant. Dioecious plants have male and female flowers on different plants, rather than growing the male and female flowers on the same plant like squash. As seed from the female plant drop, new plants will come up on their own. Did you know asparagus crowns can survive for decades? I've read they can produce for over 25 years. Asparagus is a generational food. Rather than letting the seeds fall from the female plants, I saved most of the seed. Now I can share my bounty of patience with those who will appreciate how special this plant is. I'd like to add that female plants appear to produce fewer spears because they use their collected energy to grow bright red berries that contain one to five black seeds. When you account for the generations of plants that female asparagus plants create, you will see this perceived production imbalance is a falsehood. I have noticed that natural things tend towards balance. So what? Rather than connecting the dots and showing you a picture of what the words in bold mean, I would invite you to connect them in a way that makes sense to you. The world is full of dot connectors. The slow lessons I've learned by growing asparagus are a treasure to me, and so I share them with you. I don't have any subscribers as I write this, so perhaps I should offer some commentary besides figure it out, so nobody goes away feeling cheated. I will leave you with a few leading questions. What value will we pass on to future generations? Are we planting annuals or perennials in our lives? Are you saving and sharing physical and spiritual seeds? What method of stratification might awaken you from dormancy? Why I garden? Starting asparagus from seed is rather intensive, but tasting sweet backyard asparagus will make it all worthwhile. Did I mention that asparagus grows wild? This fact humbles me. Gardening involves questioning, acting, testing, waiting, sharing, and savoring. I think the reasons many people enjoy growing food are vastly more profound than simply eating the harvest. I believe that blackening our hands with rich soil can help us reach valuable conclusions that echo into the eternities. The wisdom of the garden is available to those who put in the effort. I've heard that singing a song can be a prayer. For me, gardening is a prayer. When the world was starting to fall apart around me a few years ago, I found peaceful gratitude in my garden. God was with me in my garden. 
interacting with him and his creation fed my soul in ways that are difficult to explain. No matter what your existing beliefs are, I hope that a portion of this post inspires you. Until we meet again, Adam.